Well, we just always like making games. I've always wanted to make games ever since I was five years old. We started out making uh, just kind of things that we thought were fun, just like trying out stuff. Um, we used this software called Game Maker. Um, we kind of picked that up. I picked that up in around uh, fifth grade, and so I've been making games for a long time using that software. And so I taught myself how to program using that software, and that's actually what I still use. A lot of people use things like Unity and um, Unreal Engine. They, it's getting easier and easier to make like really professional-looking games. Um, but I just I really like the old games that I grew up with, old 2D NES games and stuff. So that retro style really just speaks to me. So that's what I still use. just ever since I was real little playing Nintendo and you know playing Mario games I would just be like I want to make something like this I want to make a I want to make my own levels or do something with it and so I really enjoy games that have level editors and things like stuff that just lets you be creative I just love to mess with it and toy around with it I've always liked working with that kind of thing and so it just naturally came to just branching out into creating my own games entirely So when we set up at like conventions and events, um, a lot of people really seem to like what we're doing, and we get a lot of people come back and keep playing for a while. Uh, we have, I think, close to 10,000 downloads on one of our apps, which is great. Um, and it's, it's, you know, nobody, nobody ever really comes to me and just goes, oh, this is terrible. So I guess I'm doing something right. <laughs> So one of the games that we came out with in 2014 is called Swimmy Shark, and it's an app you can download it on Google Play or the iOS uh, App Store. And it, you're a little shark, and you're trying to swim through these like pillars. It's uh, sort of like that Flappy Bird game. So our next game that we released after that is called Hyper Armageddon GX, and the basic premise is you're a spaceman, and you run around on little planets, and you collect uh, this ore that you use to upgrade your ship, and you build a base and um, then you can explore new planet types and there's new modes to it. It's a fun game, I think. You know, a lot of people seem to like it when they play it. Uh, we're working on a lot of other projects that we're gonna try to bring to PC, maybe consoles. So my current focus is a game called Sequence Break, which has a theme kind of of starting over using things that you've learned or things that you've earned in the game. And um, so very early in the game, you get locked in a room and you're just trapped there. And um, the gimmick is that you can save your game at that point and go back to the title screen and you start a new game, but you keep the items that you've collected. And each time you go through the game, you can take different paths and sometimes you'll get stuck or sometimes you won't. Sometimes you'll find new areas and collect new things. And the whole theme is just about using what you've learned so far to give it another shot. A lot of the time, I'll just have an idea while I'm playing something else. Because, you know, I grew up playing games, I still play games all the time. And sometimes you'll just be like, oh, that's a neat idea, but what, what can I do different with it? Because I'm always trying to not just play a game, but I want to poke at the seams and break things and figure out where the developers didn't, uh, you know, put that hidden wall so you can break out of the map or something, you know? And um, so that kind of stuff is always fascinating to me. Just like. Not just, not just playing the game, but really like digging through a game. And so that's usually where an idea starts, is you know, maybe it's some game we played when we were seven, or maybe it's something we just bought last week that you know, just came out on PlayStation. It's, uh, something actually that I'd also like to talk about um, is kind of our focus on ethical game design and what we see is something that's important that the industry is kind of going in the wrong direction with. One of the key things about ethical game design is putting players first. So many games these days are relying on things like microtransactions and loot boxes and all this stuff that's really addictive and generate income. And those aren't fun games. Those aren't things that we want to play. We want to play like good old games where you can just unlock stuff and find secrets and more and more they're locking those things behind your credit card. 
and that's something that we don't ever want to do. So none of our games have any kind of uh, advertising in them. They have no microtransactions, no currency to buy, you know, gems or fuel or whatever you know mobile games do. We don't do any of that ever because we believe in putting players first and just making good games.